What's going on guys, it's your boy Billy Liam from About That Life TV. Right now we're at Genesee Dismiss Middle School to talk with the young males of Inglewood, New Jersey. Uh, check it out. We have something in the media center right now where they're going to put up images of black and Latino males, some of them controversial, and really engage them about why these images persist. So this guy who owns this theater in Fort Lee couldn't sell enough popcorn because it was stale. So what he did was when you watch a movie, you're never watching a moving image. You're watching 30 still shots going real together that makes motion. And every 30th frame, he put the words, drink Coca-Cola, and the word hungry. Everybody in that theater, after they saw the movie, stopped and brought something to eat. So it demonstrated, in a scientific setting, it's called subliminal subduction. It demonstrated the impact of media. So when you see images of how people dress, or how people act, you imitate what you see. Another one right across from it, Rap Round Table, is where they're literally dissecting videos and lyrics to find out, do you really know what you're singing and what you're talking about? The drugs, the big cars, the women and everything, that that turns you on just listening to it, that it impresses you? Nah. No. Like, what is it well, saying? what did you get out of the... I mean, the like, it's not... Yeah, not just I mean, speak your mind. Yeah, he's right. right. Like, he tries to say, like... No, I'm not trying, I'm just asking a question. This is what I'm trying to pull out, you know. You see, my time is different from your time, so I'm trying to bridge the gap so I can come on your level like, with you. We're trying to say, like, it's not the right It's not the right path, like, to sell drugs and all that stuff, but it's like the song we just like, and he's trying to tell everybody, because, like, people didn't say, said that he couldn't make it. Like, all right, here's a question, I have a question. Do you guys understand the difference between entertainment, like these guys that are rapping this song, there might be 0.9% that actually go out there and carry a gun. It's just entertainment. Do you guys understand that it's just entertainment? They're not going out there smacking police officers, punching women in the face, going up. They're not doing that. It's just entertainment. Do you yeah, guys understand that? Yeah. You might like, yeah, you sure about punching women in the face in your little restart video. Okay. <laughs> and like, he, yeah. he might fall into that 1% that I'm talking about. Yeah. But as a whole, it's just an entertainment. Another one, men who cook, okay. where you know Anthony's gonna come, they're gonna be doing some juicing and so on and so forth. Talking about as a young person, if you set your diet a certain way now and have the perspective of being eating healthy, how that will affect you later on. 200 cash. So it ain't gonna win. Bluetooth. You play this 200 feet. We be in the hallway. If this is hooked up to the Bluetooth, we have service here. I take this go down the hallway. Turn the music, it's still playing. We rocking. Now get it. Wild. Wild. Huh? Yeah. 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 Club Parade. That's the company. That's the company I invested in. You see how you see talking about Jay-Z making investments and putting his money in different places? This is where I put my money a couple years ago. Now we out. We in Best Buy. Jabra. You know the Bluetooth company? Headphones? Oh. But it starts with staying healthy and going to school. Characteristics of success in 118, those are some businessmen and entrepreneurs who are here to really talk to them about taking the skill set from being successful in business and applying it to school and into life. Whatever you guys want to do. I know this sounds cliche, you may hear this all the time, but listen, whatever you want to do, you can do it. The choice is yours. I remember when I was in the eighth grade, we had these gentlemen come to my school and tell us. I, he said, what do, I, what, what do you want to do? I told him I wanted to go to the NBA. That man told me I won't make it. He told me I'm not going to make it because it's too hard. And I think what he was trying to do was trying to tell me to set my goal on something else other than just ball because it's so hard to do. But I take that, I take it the wrong way now. <coughs> because I've turned out to be a good ball player later. Maybe not to the league status or standard, but I probably could have went through college and got a degree with it. So don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. You can do whatever you want to do. You want to be a violinist, play that violin to your best. You want to be an architect, do that. You want to play, you want to go to baseball, um, the baseball um, MLB, you can do that. You can do it. 
no matter what you chose to do, you can do it. The choice is yours. If you fail, you did it. We don't, we don't have time for somebody held me down, somebody tried to play me, it was politics. It's out of here. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve. You want to go to the NBA, you got to play. You got to play hard. You got to practice hard. You got to practice hard. The architect, you got to learn that math. Them scales. Get that architect ruler. All of those things you're going to need, you can do it. But you have to apply yourself. Nothing's going to come easy. Don't think because I'm in the eighth grade, I'm only 13, 14 years old, I still got high school, I got my life ahead of me. No, this is it right now.